bottom of a coffee pot. But thanks to this quick fix, I can now get a fresh cup of coffee anytime I want. Since 1998, the K-Cup Pod has been revolutionizing the way people brew coffee, giving them a quick fix alternative to their daily routine. And it all started with Vermont-based Green Mountain Coffee. We're the very first roaster to actually manufacture coffee in K-Cup Pods. And it all starts with, what else? Coffee beans. Green Mountain Coffee uses 200 million pounds of coffee beans each year. When the sacks arrive, a worker slits open the bag to release the beans into a sorting pit that's essentially a large funnel. At the bottom of the funnel, we have a conveyance system that then picks up those beans and brings them on to the next unit operation. All those little beans need to go through a bean cleaner, which is a series of conveyor belts that shakes any broken beans or unwanted debris through a mesh liner. We want to make sure that we're only introducing into our subsequent processes whole green coffee beans. Once the beans are clean, they are stored in these gigantic silos for four to eight hours before heading to the roaster. This is where the magic happens. The roaster is where individual types of beans become a specific type of coffee. Green Mountain offers 50 varieties, but today we're making their founders blend. To do that, they need to turn those green coffee beans a dark smoky brown.